cyclocross nationals? Yeah, how many cyclocross? Since 2005 in Providence, Rhode Island. And I've done it every year since. So how many is that? Going into national championships on Sunday, I would say my biggest competitor is Katie Compton, uh, just because she's won the past 14 years. I don't even know, 14, I think, right? 13. 13, okay. In 2009 or 2010, I was on Planet Bike. She was also riding for Planet Bike, just at a higher level of support wise. I think I was 17 or 18, and that's how I met her. I worked with her for a while and learned a lot from her and wanted, wanted to be like her, I guess you could say. I remember the first time I went to their house, they have like a shelf in their living room, like in the corner, and all her World Cup trophies are on there and stuff. And I don't know, I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> like, I want those, you know? I'm not intimidated by her this year. In the past, I always, I, I could, I'd probably say no, I wasn't, but I'd be lying. Well, last year I went through a lot of like crappy stuff and I wanted to quit, I didn't want to do it anymore. I think I had to like just reevaluate. Well, I did like yoga teacher training and that was like 200 hours of, I guess, finding yourself kind of thing. And I just came out of that different. And I uh, talked with a, um, like a sp sports therapist lady and she knows me pretty well and like how I overthink things a lot and I'm really good at getting inside my head. And so our motto for Sunday is like racing with your heart, not your head. And even if it doesn't go my way, I still want to know that I did the best that I could. Like I had my best race. I think if you just have something that like represents whatever you need to get out of your your brain hole, it could be anything. Somebody could give you like Beanie Babies and be like, this small chihuahua Beanie Baby represents hard decision making. <laughs> whatever conjures up the ability to focus on whatever you need to focus on, you could say a prayer or you could put a rock next to you or you could put your anxiety or your thoughts at ease because some horoscope tells you that it's okay. Sometimes my easy bike ride or in the middle of a long bike ride, ooh, I'll stop at like a waterfall and I know there is a very like calming presence to that stuff. Like I really like moving water. And I feel like it's so compelling to your brain that you just like you stop thinking about everything else. There's something to all that. People do like all sorts of pilgrimages to you know, whatever like holy thing that they feels necessary in their life. I mean, like, it just gets back to, like, the absolute most simple thing possible. You're a person on Earth. 